Hola amigos. Okay, so today is art class. So this is what we're going to be uh, doing today, okay? So today for this project, we are talking about George Seurat. So you're going to need a uh, cardstock paper that I put on my package. You're going to need your Q-tips that I put in there as well. I think I put about four of them. And then uh, if you have uh, the paint, some of the paint that uh, the tempera paint that I put on the Ziploc of bags, they're the primary colors. Uh, you can use the primary colors or you can use any color that you have, any type of paint that you have, okay? All right, first thing I want you to do is, let me go ahead and show you. I want you to um, look at this video. So hold on a second, okay? So here we are. So if you can please have your mom or dad um, take you to YouTube. And we're going to watch Art with Maddie and Dada. Um, and it's going to be the George Zara, um video. So if you can go ahead and watch this only a 7, seven and 42 seconds. Uh, 7 minutes and 42 seconds video. So it's fun. We have watched uh, Maddie and Dada before in art class. So just go ahead and watch that and then come back, okay? <laughs> All right. All right, amigos. Now that you watched the video. So now you know a little bit about George Zara. So he was a French painter and he created this um, awesome technique that is called pointillism. He is one of my favorite uh, artists because I just can't think of how patient and how he was able to, you know, create this beautiful paintings, but just doing dots. Yes, guys, that's all he was doing, doing dots of colors. Um, and making our eyes actually mix the colors uh, by looking at them from far. So um, so that is amazing to me. I really think it's amazing. He did talk about um, how long it took him to do that painting. Um, it is called a Sunday on La Grande Jade. Uh, I think that's how you say it. A Sunday on La Grande Jade. So that is a really famous painting of George Zara, and um, he used just dots on that painting. It took him about two years, two years to complete that um, that piece of art. And I bet you there's like millions of dots on that painting. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna create our own painting painting with dots okay so first you can sketch or you can have your mom even help you you can do um whatever you want you can do a flower i'm gonna do a flower so you can do a flower whatever you want it's okay All right, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our Q-tips and we are going to be mixing colors. I got my primary colors. I wanna try. Uh, you do remember what colors do you get uh, when you mix, for example, red and yellow. Do you remember, guys? Red and yellow. So it makes orange, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dip it. You see how I did that? And we're just gonna be doing dots. So this is called pointillism, and we're just doing dots. Imagine Mr. Sarat doing this, beautiful. And then you can grab some yellow and mix it too, like that. And do you see how I'm already like mixing some of the colors? So that's all we're gonna do. We're gonna do a lot of dots, okay? So we're gonna be doing a lot of dotting. <laughs> all right, well, I'll see you in a minute, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and finish mine. All right, so here's my flower. As you can see, Miss Gonzalez already made a mess over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a leaf. Now let's see if you remember what colors do we need to mix to make green. I know you know this. So you know it is yellow and blue, right? 
So we're going to mix some yellow dots and blue dots and we'll see what it comes out. Okay, let's see. with pointillism. Well, I hope you like this. Like I said, you don't have to do a flower. It can be something else. But if you want to do flowers, okay. All right, well, have fun. And I'll see you next time. Bye.